no more. Look, Sensei done dropped a banger. Now, I'm going to be honest. I never played God of War. You know what I'm saying? By by time, uh, you know what I'm saying, God of War came out, I was into FPSs, all right? I used to do the story mode games. But uh, we about to see why he the God Fader, though, all right? Let's get it. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100K holla, chill in Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. What is good, Holla Squad? We are... Dang, my explosion happened. The little squad on the YouTube platform. Listen, today we are back with another reaction. And we got Kratos, the god uh, fader in the building, all right? Since they don't put his foot in this one, this one got 36-minute run time on it, all right? We're about to see what Kratos is out here doing, okay? Let's get it. War is inevitable. War never changes. No, this isn't Fallout, but the main character of this tale created Fallout. A man who's dedicated to vengeance, dedicated to destroying those who destroyed him, those who destroyed this nigga's skin because that nigga looks like Zordon from Power Rangers, the putty patroller himself. Someone strong enough and with enough will to destroy gods themselves. Someone who will fight not only gods, but will literally inhale any amount of smoke available. So strap in. Get your snacks and get ready because today we are watching Kratos, the fader of gods. Real quick though, before we get into this amazing video, a quick message for our sponsor, Likewise. Yes, sir. All right, so today's video is brought to you by an app called Likewise. First of all, hey yo, Sensei, my boy, appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go check out the link in this description. You know what I'm saying? My man done crossed over, getting ass now. I see you, my boy. Get y'all snacks ready, because this is going to be a long one. I have notes here for every game from Ascension to God of War 3. And I know, hold on, relax. Because I know y'all like, Sin, Sin, what about God of War 4? What about God of War 4? Relax. Because I'm going to talk about Kratos and the boy. As long as y'all get this video to a... Hold on, why, why my man say the boy like that? Somebody fill me in, all right? 100,000 views and 8,000 likes. And I know y'all can, because y'all been supporting the shit out of me lately. By the way, I hit 100K recently. Yo, thank y'all so much for that. I don't know what we're at now by the time I'm recording this, but hey. Let's see where we at, you know what I'm saying? 127K up since my man started this. Yes, sir. Man, we got big things coming this year, 2022 and all that. But let's get straight into it. So we start off with this little nigga Kratos and his brother Deimos. Now, Kratos is a Spartan. Well, I know y'all remember the, the Spartans, you feel me? 300 right, and all that. Uh, we uh, Sparta, you remember? Remember he kicked the, the dude down the hole and all that? Feel me? Big shields, spears and all that, you know what I'm saying? So okay. Kratos, he was a Spartan. Him and his brother are always fighting each other. They dueling. Kratos is trying to get his brother right. It's like when you got a little brother, he kind of soft, so you beat him up. I know that's kind <laughs> of abuse and all that and, and later on like, my man had to do sasuke like that bro. I, they might not like you that much but kratos <laughs> didn't give a fuck because he was beating the shit out of his brother but it's kind of messed up because there was this prophecy basically that said the marked one would destroy olympus now this man Deimos had a birthmark and later kratos kind of copied his birthmark and got tattoos to match so at some point in the story we find out that this nigga aries came down to get the marked one Deimos. now i ain't gonna lie though when the prophecy said the marked one i instantly thought of the west coast because y'all know how west coast niggas be like <laughs> Yo, you marked out. You marked yeah, out. Facts. I was like, Put, it makes sense. Kratos is beating this nigga up. That nigga's a bitch. But I was wrong, though. It was literally because of a birthmark. <sighs> I mean, it is neither near or there. We find out later, though, that he wasn't really the marked one. It was Kratos, but whatever. Ares steals Deimos away, and Athena tells this nigga Kratos sorry for some reason. Now, I'm instantly confused because I'm like, why the fuck are you saying sorry to me? You just stole my brother. Y'all niggas just came in like CPS, like I'm a bad parent, took my brother from me after a war just happened. Ares hitting us and all that there's blood all on us and you steal my brother away now kratos is yelling like no damn well hold on my bad his voice wasn't that deep yet he was like <clears throat> no damos <laughs> <laughs> but they took this nigga damos away and after that kratos was kind of like on a war path the rest of his life he was just slaughtering niggas to sparta he was an angry nigga bro Thank you basically the follow, this whole story could be wrapped up in angry man is so angry he doesn't want to die like that, that's basically what happens but nice. anyways the killing spree <clears throat> sorry killer spree starts after this man Kratos. bro the origin story of kratos is crazy all right my man deserved to be a menace all right I i've seen enough of the story you be forgiven my brother Kratos <laughs> slaughters tons of people for sparta but there's this one time that they're about to go against somebody that might be a little bit tiny bit too strong for him and this is the only time in the story that i was like not my nigga kratos bro because my nigga kratos starts sucking aries dick off immediately like, I mean, go, 
Gawk 3000, like really slobbering this nigga Ares talking about, Ares, if you save me and my people, I will be a slave to you. Like, bro, yelling up to the guys. I'm like, who are you yelling at, bro? The nigga Ares ain't gonna hear you. But I was wrong. Cause right as he started slobbering this nigga Ares off, here he comes, the sky splits. You just see Ares fall down. And he's like, I give my body to you. And I'm like, pause, nigga, you on your knees talking about I give myself to you? Yeah, that's wild, wild. Kratos, what, what, what do you have to say about those accusations, my boy? In what way? What do you, you mean, mean by that? that? That's neither near or there, you feel me? This man, Kratos, literally becomes Ares' minion at this point. Starts slaughtering countless people for this nigga Ares. And I'm like, okay, so you out here sucking God's dicks for power. This is gonna bite you in the ass. But there's this one part where he comes up to this temple and there's this old ass hag in front looking like the bitch from like <laughs> One Punch Man. They nah, she looked like the lady from Holes. That old boy had to carry up Madame Muzel, whatever her name is. She had to carry to the top of y'all seen holes, bro. Stop. Hey, the prophecy. Bitch out here looking like Shorty on the uh, the crystal ball from Dragon Ball. Shit. <laughs> old ass bitch, though. She like, hey, and I'm gonna translate this to some hood shit for y'all. <laughs> she was like, nigga, don't go in there. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> That's not what you want. This nigga Kratos was like, what do you mean, old ass bitch? Pushed her out the way. He's like, I'm going in here. This is my destiny. So this man walking here on some, this is my destiny shit. Nigga acting like ass catch him. Like, like <laughs> the catch them is my call. Like, bro, really walks in this motherfucker. I'm like, bro, I don't know what's in this temple. But you should have listened to this old bitch. Nice. The whole premise of the story happens after he goes in here because he slaughters all these people in here. <sighs> And then when he's done slaughtering them all, he looks down and he killed his fucking wife and his daughter. This man, Ares, set this man up to kill his people. Basically, in Ares' mind, he was like, all right, if I have him slaughter his wife and daughter, there's nothing else that's going to be in this man's way. I literally can just have him do my bidding. So when you was out here swinging your, 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 ah, ah, you didn't look, she ain't say, babe, no. Bruh, come on now, bruh. <laughs> because now there's nothing to stop him. Of course, Kratos wasn't too happy about this. And he said, Ares, I will have vengeance for this. No, 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 no. You can't blame Ares, bruh. You swung your, your, your deadly weapon at your wife and kid, all right? You, ha you had to have synced them, all right? You synced them. No excuses. I ain't gonna lie, Kratos' voice actor goes crazy. Like, let's talk about that. But anyways, this is the craziest part of this moment though, because the whole time I'm looking at this man Kratos and I'm like, bro, why isn't he pale yet? Like, he's gray as shit in the games. Like, why isn't he gray? And then I realized that they cursed him. That the reason this nigga is gray like this is that he has the ashes of his wife and his daughter on his body. They stained this nigga's body with their ashes. The whole time you play the game and he out here looking like Zordon, looking like a putty ranger, like this man out here looking like dark side and shit like the reason why he's gray like this is because he has his wife and his daughter's ashes painted on his body like a silhouette you know that figure of speech like i will bathe in the blood of my enemies no they bathe this nigga in the ashes of his family like literally so at this point this nigga kratos is on the path of destruction he's like yo i am going to get vengeance for this bitch ass nigga aries like the fact that he did this and he didn't pay for his half of the bill when we went out to eat the other night i am going to punish this nigga aries gotta wore my ass I'm about to switch it around and he gonna be the god of raw cuz I'm about to Bubba raw. Boom. That was too far yeah, that was crazy. crazy. But anyways at, at this point we fast forward a little bit and this man Kratos is having visions and shit He don't know what the fuck is going on, bro This man Ares has the fury sisters impersonating this nigga's wife This man Kratos fucking the shit out of the furies thinking that he's fucking his wife It's not even his wife. This man is literally in La La Land in a fake world Ares had this man in a fake world trying to keep him under control. I ain't gonna lie <laughs> The one fury sister that I was impersonating his wife was kind of bad. Like, I might have had the cracker too, you feel me? They call it a fury sister, but they gonna call me the fury brother the way I'm a ferociously <laughs> fury. I need to calm down, but I'm down bad right now. <laughs> Anyways, whole time though, it, it, this is whole fake shit. Now this man Kratos is on a path of, you know, revenge, but he also wants to get rid of these stupid ass visions too. So he's just yeah. doing- Facts, my man went MJ real quick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> stuff for the guys. He ends up smoking this basilisk and he ends up defeating some Persians. Now at this point, he's yelling up to the guys like, is this all you want from me? And boy, were we wrong, bro. Because as this man Kratos pulls up to the underworld Where a little bit later, daughter, he sees bitch. this nigga Persephone. Now Persephone is Hades' wife. Now Pulls up to the underworld Where a little bit later. Daughter, he sees this nigga Persephone. Now Persephone is Hades' wife. Now, to be the wife of Hades, if y'all saw the way Hades looked in this game, you have to be down bad. Like, there's no way you swear. Oh, I thought we had a freaking Griffith on our hands, you know what I'm saying? Cause he said, pull up to this nigga. I'm like, 
Hold on. What would you... What, what, like what exactly that's why uh, i ain't gonna like right on tinder on this nigga <laughs> hades bro like hades was out here looking disgusting as fuck bro bro look like a butcher in a fucking deli like i'm not even playing with y'all this man would look like shao Kahn with the mask on but obese i know y'all wondering well how did hades end up dying how did he control the underworld that nigga had a heart attack too much fucking cholesterol in him fat <laughs> bitch this man literally out here looking like pig guy with a mask <sighs> anyways let me stop flaming this nigga but he pulls up on persephone and i'm like this bitch is bad how is she that down bad this bitch is bad persephone tricks this nigga though and she tells him like look you can see your daughter but you gotta basically give up all of this stuff to this tree so he sticks his blades into this tree gives us some of his health his magic all that shit he goes in to see his daughter now his daughter is really there and she's like okay. daddy never yes, leave sir. me again y'all never leave you daughter the whole time persephone was tricking this nigga to stop him so she can make sure that he wouldn't stop her because see persephone and atlas had an idea to basically destroy the world now atlas is the titan that got tasked with holding up the entire world like what kind of shitty ass job yeah, is this crazy. like bro this nigga atlas literally is so holding up the Majora's entire mask, world on his back yo he put the team on his back literally now the way that zeus did these titans and we're gonna talk about that at some point but yo he did these niggas dirty to be fair though chronos tried to do him dirty you feel me that, that, that zeus is dad by the way zeus is part titan part god i don't I know it's it's confusing but anyways this is where we get some savage ass savagery boy this man kratos you're literally in a mini game where he has to decide if he's going to leave his daughter behind to stop persephone and of course you have no choice but to button mash circle to push your daughter off you like she's <laughs> grabbing you daddy stop push daddy please push the last time you push her hard as shit stiff arm the fuck out of her like you're defending on the o-line bro <laughs> boom push her off i'm like oh my god he runs up persephone ends up going to atlas and he stops the whole shenanigan that he got going on yo i'm not gonna lie bro the funniest part though is how he talks to these bitches in this game because bro when he first pulled up on persephone he walked straight up to her and he's like where's Where my daughter my witch <laughs> bro i ain't gonna lie reminded me of the scene in scary movie bro in the beginning when shorty and her friends were in high school and the homeless guy is like yo can i have a dollar <laughs> and they're trying to diss him and then shorty's like can't you just see he's hungry she gives the homeless dude a dollar they walk away he smacks her with a sandwich I and says i said a dollar, dollar bitch, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> i ain't gonna lie you i know that's mad off my man was trying to get that booger sugar you know what i'm saying I don't want no damn sandwich. I'm trying to go get some crap. <laughs> Uh, hey. I think yo, but that's literally how we talk to Risa. Where's Where my daughter, witch? <laughs> oh my god. But anyways, after this, this man Kratos is on a ship. He smokes a Hydra. And at this point, he's like, look, man, I just smoked this Hydra for y'all. What else do you want me to do? And Athena's like, the last thing we need you to do to get rid of these visions is to smoke Ares. Ares is tearing oh. up Athens right now. So Athena tasks Kratos with going to smoke in Ares. This is the first god that he smokes in the entire franchise. So he pulls up to Athens and we see this giant ass Ares now he walks up and he's like talking heavy to Ares like yeah this is gonna be your funeral bitch like I'm about to bury you bitch stupid ass bitch like he's talking heavy to this nigga some Ooh, chick walks up she bad though I ain't gonna lie she got this like see-through dress on yo little little Ooh, fatty in the back little wagon and all that little see-through thong and all that no nah, I'm just claiming but she walk up on this man Kratos and touch his face right trying to like see his vision Ooh, yo he choked this bitch she's ah. like stay out of my head bitch grabs her by the throat and tosses her bro this man Kratos gets domestic throughout this entire franchise Franchise, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's where Chris Brown learned his shit from. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, these days you grab a girl by the throat, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a different. She gonna react a lot different. All right. All right oh, that was too far. All right, that was too far. <laughs> Anyways, at this point, they tell him that he has to get Pandora's box that apparently has some power in it that can kill gods. But later okay. on, we get to a point where Ares and this man Kratos are about to fight. But this man Kratos is in a vision, right? Now Ares is really on some like kinda entitled shit, but I get it because he really gave this nigga Kratos his power. Right. Ares was kind of talking to him. He's like, "Yo, how you gonna suck my though. dick for me to give you powers? <laughs> give me the best blowjob of my life." dick riding the shit out of me and then you're gonna try to betray me nigga me bro this is some vile <laughs> shit this man aries took kratos power back in a vision and then smoked this nigga's wife with the same blades that he took back i'm like yo this nigga aries is different i ain't gonna lie i should have made this video after him nah i ain't gonna lie he did get smoked but anyways in this next part athena helps this man kratos out gives him some power he turns giant as shit and picks up this like god sword that's there this gold okay. sword ends up smoking this nigga aries with it but it didn't even matter 
better because he smokes Aries, right? Now, at this point, Aries is done. He's out of the franchise. He's done. Finito, finish. But he did all that for Zilch, for Zero, because they didn't take his visions away. Athena was like, bitch, we said that we was going to forgive you, but we never said we was going to take the visions away. No man should be without visions of terrible atrocities that they've done. Now, at this point, my spotty sense has kicked in, and I'm like, my mama always <laughs> told me not to trust these bitches, bro. He should have not trust these bitches. So at this point, this man Kratos was like, look, man, if I got to live with these visions, I'm going to just off myself. And he literally tried to smoke himself. But that didn't turn out well. This nigga still was alive after that. Now, fast That's forward crazy. a little bit, bro. The next time we see some atrocious shit is when this nigga Zeus pulls up on his mom, right? So his mom is in here basically on her deathbed. She's telling him, like, you got to get your brother Deimos back, Kratos. And then I'm like, okay, okay. I ain't going to lie. First thing I thought was, <laughs> she might low-key a milk. Yeah, like, no, I'm just playing. But anyways, I'm like, okay, we got to get Deimos back. But his mom is like, Man, I got to tell you who boy. your father is. And I'm like, oh, shit. We about to find out about this nigga Kratos' dad? But she's like, I know if I tell you who your dad is, what's going to happen to me? And I'm like, what's going to happen? Are you not? It's not Aries, bro. It can't be. It can't be. If it is, that's he killed his wife, his, his daughter. His dad, that, nah, there's no way. I'm not gonna be able to collect child support anymore. Like, what, what's going on? <laughs> so she whispers in his ear and tells him, you know, that your dad is Zeus. And then she turns into a monster. Now, I know you're probably thinking like, oh my God, bro. He already had to kill his wife and daughter. No way that he'll have to kill his own mom. <sighs> But you'd be wrong because this nigga has to smoke the monster and indirectly because his mom is the monster, he smokes his own mom. This nigga Kratos is a fucking demon. What are they going to say? I ain't going to lie, mom. It was GG for you anyway. You was on your deathbed. So, you know what I'm saying? You turned into a monster. I had to get rid of you. <laughs> say goodbye. Stain his skin with now after he killed his mom. What are they going to like stain it with the period blood of his... <laughs> <laughs> I've been wilding out of this video. I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, that, that's besides the point. So he pulls up on Deimos after this, and Deimos is clearly mad because he feels like Kratos has betrayed him. He's like, You've left me here all this time. They start scrapping. His he brother came is for mad you. What you as mean? a bitch. But y'all might remember before, like in the past, he smoked the Furies. Well, the god of death, who was the father of the Furies. I Again, confused. Anyways, but this harpy ass nigga looking like he came with harpy's feather duster from Yu-Gi-Oh. I ain't gonna lie. This man pulled up and stole Deimos in the middle of their fight. How you scrapping somebody and then you steal the nigga brother in the middle of the fight? This is the <laughs> second time this nigga Deimos got stole. God damn. But anyways, this man Kratos is down bad. Deimos, next time I save you, fight with me and not against me. You know what I'm saying? They could they could have avoided this if they would have double teamed my man's. That sound pause. But anyway, y'all get what I'm saying. At this point, but he's like, yo, I got to save my brother. I got to make up for lost time. So he jumps down into this pit. Now, Deimos is fighting the God of Death. Kratos jumps in the fight and helps him out. At this point, you know what's about to happen next, bro. These niggas, the made up. His brother Deimos is like a Spartan never falls on his back. Right, brother? He's like, right. So he's like, the fight isn't over. They pull up on this nigga and you know what's about to go down, nigga. You know if you made up with your brother and they it's just you, him, team. and another nigga. <laughs> Fight back, nigga. Fight back. Yo, they start jumping the shit out of this nigga. So what happened next was kind of fucked up. So the god of death turns into his true form at this point, and he grabs this nigga Deimos, right? Now, the first time, Kratos jumped and pushed this nigga Deimos out the way so he could get smoked. But, you know, Kratos built different. He ate that. But then he grabs Deimos and smacks him on the side of a cliff. Boom! And then he slams him down. Boom! And then you just see a lifeless body, bro, as this nigga Cornhus Deimos just lays there, literally looking like a toothpaste tube that just had the last of its nutrients drained from it. <laughs> this nigga just laying there lifeless. Now, this nigga Kratos is mad as hell, starts raging out at this point, and he smokes the god of death. Bro, he killed death. How do you death death, bro? Yeah, that shit don't even make sense. <laughs> bro, how do you kill the nigga that kills niggas? Oh, my God. Now, after this, though, Athena pulls up and is like, you're ready to be a god, and touches this nigga and turns him into a god. So he goes to Olympus. Yo, the next time we see this man Kratos, he at Olympus sitting on a throne with a bunch of bad bitches around him. I'm in one big room. Full of bad bitches. One big bro, bro, this is bitch. One bitch, two bitch, three. You feel me? They just there. Now we're gonna talk about bitches later. Cause yo, in a little bit. Man, I heard collecting the Tarahandes, okay? We're gonna talk about this mini game that I know y'all are waiting on me to mention. You feel me? Oh, we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> Trust me. Hold up, it's like the hot coffee. Listen, you're not a real San Andreas if you don't know about the hot coffee cheat. Go look it up on your mom's tablet. Type in hot coffee Grand Theft Auto San Andreas in her Google Chrome. Do it. 
believe me, if you're at this point and you haven't heard me talk about it, you didn't talk about it. Relax. So anyway, Joe, he, he's talking heavy to Athena though, because basically what Kratos has been doing to make up for lost time is he's been, you know, periodically helping Sparta out, punish everybody around him. He's like, oh yeah, I don't have no family anymore, so I'm gonna just help out my peoples. You feel me? Give it back to the community and all that. Like, he a real nigga. Now Athena hating. You feel right. me? <laughs> really also player hating shit. He's talking about no Kratos. That's enough. He's like, out of my way, bitch. Like he push her off the way. <laughs> Hold he up. be talking Athena heavy. So Athena's talking heavy back though. She's like, okay, if you're not gonna listen to me, I'm the one that gave you the power of a god. Remember that. So he's like, whatever. He jumped down. He go to help Sparta. Same situation where Ares was before. You remember Ares was all big and shit. Now yeah. Kratos is the god of war. Punch a nigga. Beam. Boom! So Athena comes down and creates this giant out of this like statue to fight Kratos. Kratos is like, you would defy me, Athena? So him and this big ass thing is fighting. Zeus pulls up though. He's like, the only way that you can defeat Athena at this point is if you put all the powers of a god into the blade of Olympus. The blade that I used against the Titans. And I'm like, oh, that's tough. Mm -hmm. And then Kratos thought the same thing. He's like, nigga, why you trying to be my pappy now, bro? Don't try to be my dad now. This man Zeus is one of those niggas that wait till their son is like 40 and they try to be in their life. Like, nigga. LeBron James, LeBron James. That, that, that's LeBron James' dad right there, boy. Nigga, I don't care. Don't come try to talk to me now when your blood pressure's high and your fucking liver's failing on you and like you're about to die in the next five years. I don't give a boy. Just don't be a piece of shit. Don't try to be my dad. This nigga Zeus talking about, let me help you out. So I knew it was some bullshit. So Kratos goes and put all the power of the god that he has into this blade now as he's fighting and defeating this big ass statue zeus comes down and picks the blade up he done tricked this nigga that nigga zeus is not the pappy if that nigga zeus went on mori bro he'd have been like in the case of 48 year old kratos <laughs> zeus you are, you are not the father like literally that's literally what happened this man starts scrapping Zeus at this point, and I ain't gonna lie, he was getting punished because he's not a god no more. Literally work. Beam, 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 beam. And after Zeus punished this nigga Kratos, he used the Olympus blade and he kills all of Sparta. Literally commits genocide and wipes out the entirety of this nigga's people. Like, bro, how can this get any worse? And then that nigga Zeus broke Kratos' neck. Literally got this man in there stinking. This man Hades came and grabbed him up. I'm like, oh, it's over for this nigga. So he goes to the underworld, and that's where he meets Gaia. Now, Gaia is like the Earth Titan, pretty much. <sighs> The Yo, Titans this story are not like on some tough. Attack on Titan shit, by the way. They ain't Titan shifters and all that, but they like Titans. Like the people that were before the gods. Like it, it's a lot, bro. I, I ain't no I'm fucking, a, my fucking a, what, is, what is it called? Mythology class, nigga? You can Google that shit. But anyways, <laughs> the story goes like this. This bitch ass nigga Kronos seen this prophecy where his kids were going to overthrow him. Now, instead of trying to be a good dad and, you know, I don't know, beat the prophecy. He's like, I'm just going to eat my kids. So we had his bitch. Hold on. What you, what you, what, what, hold on. What? Sensei, what, what do you mean by that? I'm just gonna... You know what? Never mind. Literally giving him his kids to eat. So what does his bitch do? Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> she takes Zeus, gets an eagle to fly him to an island where Gaia is, where Gaia raises him, and then she gives Kronos a brick. Now, this is what made me mad about this part. Because it's like, how did you think that a f***ing brick was a baby boy? Why are you eating a brick? Quarter cool brick, half a brick, whole brick. Hey, like gave him a brick wrapped up in a blanket and you ate it thinking it was Zeus. <sighs> God. So anyway, Zeus grows up and he wants to smoke all the fucking Titans because he's mad about what his dad did and he wants to like basically run the humans. Now after this, this man is in the underworld trying to get out and he ends up seeing this nigga Atlas and he's about to get smoked by this big ass nigga Atlas. This man Atlas got fucking Shaquille O'Neal hands about to squish Kratos, but Kratos is like, stop Atlas, I want to stop Zeus. And then Atlas tells us the rest of the story. So basically, the gods were smoking the Titans. Like, they were smoking on that Titan pack, that Zaza pack, that you feel me? <laughs> the Titan pack was hitting. <laughs> this man Zeus created the Blade of Olympus during this fight, and he used it to smoke the Titans. We're going to call that shit the Titan Smoker for the rest of the story, bro. It's not the Blade no. of Olympus no more. That is the Titan Smoker, the Titan Inhaler, nigga. That nigga, oh my God, he rolled the Titans up in a pack. Literally every one of them niggas. So anyways, after this, Kratos realizes he has to go to the Sisters of Fate to change boy. his fate because the nigga is smoked in this timeline, so he's got to change what happened. He be wilding on everyone, bro. He yo, he walks up to the Sister of Fate. He's like, move out of my way, bitch. Bro, she got a titty Ooh, out and all that. I ain't gonna lie. Some of these bitches be bad for real. They be Listen, rule 34, God of War, here I come. You know, here I come. 
cap, you know, <laughs> full chub. Like, I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, this nigga starts to fight in this mouth. Baba Bowie. Fate, right? One of the Fate sisters. She's like, you can't change your fate, Kratos. I control your fate. So she takes him to where him and Ares was in, you feel me, fighting on that big ass sword. And this nigga smoked fate. He killed fate. Like, oh my God. How do you kill fate, bro? If you're no. fated to die, how do you smoke the thing that fated you to die, bro? He literally smoked <laughs> fate. Then he goes upstairs Ooh. in the same room and the other fate sisters there, this big birth the bitch, this looking like the trailer park trash version <laughs> of the fate sisters, looking like the big bitch from Borderlands 2. <laughs> Ooh, big bitch had her titties out and all that. He ends up you know impaling her chest, giving her a boob job. Like, this nigga really smoked fate. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga's different. So at this point, he had to redo what happened before. So he ends up fighting Zeus again. But he tricks this nigga Zeus because he starts losing. He's like, yo, Zeus, I laid out my arms to you. I can't, you feel me? He can't. I can't do this, nigga. I give it up. And he's like, put me out of my misery. And Zeus is like, I'm gonna put you out of your misery. But your torment has just started. He goes to attack him. This man Kratos. Hmm, parry. Boom, boom, start mixing this nigga bro really rocking Woo! this nigga boom boom rock rock work, smack boy. smack he used the blades and impales zeus's arms and he's about to kill him bro with the blade athena shows up she blocked the attack he like yo move athena don't stop me yo she getting away with her dumb ass bro and ends up getting impaled he turned Athena. that's tough Pack her up, all right, pack her up. Athena to a shish kebab. <laughs> Literally stuck the blade of Olympus. I'm sorry, the Titan smoker through this bitch's body. So Athena's like a spirit the whole rest of the story at this point. Now I am like, oh my God, bro. But anyways, after he kills Athena, he uses the fate bitches to change the fate of the past with the Titans. He's like, look, let's go back to my time and we gonna smoke these niggas on Olympus together. And that is what begins God of War 3. This nigga, That's instead tough. of the Titans getting smoked, takes them all to his time. He's literally climbing Olympus on the back of Titans. The first nigga that this nigga has to fight, though, in God of War 3 is this nigga Poseidon. Bro, he fights the god of the sea. There's a whole mini game where you're literally beating the shit out of him and you break his neck, bro. <laughs> you're mixing the gods, bro. This nigga kills like every god on Olympus, bro, in this game. Like, it's <laughs> literally crazy. That's funny, why I call bro. this nigga the fader of gods, bro, because he fades them niggas, bro. Sun literally, like, facts. smokes them. It don't matter who you are. So he's working beside him. Boom, boom, weave, weave, boom, boom. Broke his neck. After this, every time he defeats a god, by the way, the world goes crazy. Like, the sea is literally imploding on itself. Waves crashing everywhere, smacking up and down. Like, he bro, really I ain't gonna lie. Look like Sea World out this bitch, bro. I'm gonna keep it all the way clean. Like, I was looking for Free Willy. Like, it, it was wild. So he ends up getting the Blades of Exile from Athena after this, and then he goes to the underworld to find and fight Hades. So he ends up fighting this nigga Hades in the underworld. Yo, he is smoking this nigga, right? But this the crazy, yo, we're on a Hades pack too. But this the crazy part. He takes this nigga Hades. Hades weapons and then he uses his own weapons to steal Hades soul out of him literally stole this nigga Hades soul at this point all the evil spirits here are flying everywhere everything <laughs> is going crazy he's destroying the earth as he smokes these niggas he smoked this nasty pig god ass nigga they'll punish them how you take Dude. another nigga's weapons and it's not the first or last time he did this in this game bro this nigga is different bro all the way clean. Anyways, after this, he pulls up on Hephaestus, this ugly ass nigga, bro. I don't be roasting a lot of characters because I know y'all be getting tired of me roasting everybody as much as I do, but bro, Hephaestus, please bring your ass here, bro, because there's no way I'm not talking about your droopy face ass, pudding face ass, bro. Why your lip hanging like that? Uh, skateboard ramp lip looking ass. Well, now, boy. And then he got one blind eye and then one eye that looking off to the right. Hottest seat champion, 360, no scope, eyes looking ass nigga. Like, bro, your field of vision with that one eye is crazy, bro. Cyborg eye looking ass and then you got super scoliosis you in this nasty ass corridor your whole life you bent over and got a nasty ass hunchback boy you doing my man's filthy boy it look like you got a turtle shell on your back nigga bowser back looking ass <laughs> i ain't gonna lie bro this nigga is literally nasty out here looking like my precious smeagol looking at nigga fuck wrong with this nigga man anyways anyways ugly ass Hephaestus is down here he's like yo was hades dead crazy but anyways gaia is in the way of you getting past to get to the next situation ship that you got to get to right so i'm like okay just jump over her arm this nigga kratos is like vengeance is mine and he kills gaia just Why? so we can get by or so we thought but anyway see he literally was trying to kill her just to get by bro this nigga bro anyways this nigga percy's this big ass nasty titan he ugly as shit by the way kronos is mad ugly too but percy's is an ugly nigga bro he grabs helios and he like throws and slams him into a wall so you walk up on helios who was like the god of the sun and shit this man is down there down bad it looks like that one scene where deku was just in the crater destroyed after that one like exam part remember he in the tracksuit with his body all mangled <laughs> i ain't gonna lie this man he 
Emilio's legs looking like spaghetti noodles right now. You walk up to this nigga and you literally rip his head off to use it as a lantern. Bro, he rips it. All right, Mike got to download this, no cap. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate Sensei, you know, catching me up because I'm not going back and playing other games. All right, I'm going to start straight from the new one. No cap. <laughs> Rips his head off, bro. Like he was trying to rip a Beyblade. This nigga is different. After this, yo, we pull up on Hermes, yo. We literally walk up to this nigga and we like, hey, bro, them shoes on your feet, nice, bro. What size is them? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, them shoes like my size. Cause this nigga Kratos literally cuts this nigga's legs off, bro. This nigga Kratos is not playing with this nigga, bro. Literally stole his feet. How you stealing nigga's feet? <sighs> bro, this nigga is just smoking niggas at this point. But then in this next part, we got this fucking drunk ass bitch Hera bro and this big ass nigga Hercules he coming out on some envious shit talking about you were always the Zeus's favorite they had me go get an apple while they made you a god <laughs> nigga do I look like I get groceries they turn me to a DoorDash driver <laughs> this nigga out here getting produce for the gods and shit you, you becoming the god of yeah, war Hercules so this nigga mad but he got these big ass on. kystuses on these big ass gloves these lion gloves yo he's trying to swing yo when you end up punching this nigga you rock him right you mixing his ribs boom stab him in the shit Start Man. grinding this shit up. Pause. One of the Yo. <laughs> Yo. The, the terminology in this video going crazy. The gloves fall <laughs> off. Yo, you pick the glove up, put it on your hand. You punch the nigga so hard, he flies out of the other glove. Then you pick <laughs> that one on, and then he start punishing this nigga, bro. How you punch a nigga out of his glove? Bro, he's on top of him, mixing this nigga. Bang, bang, bang. That, that, hey, that's how Peter was doing Green Goblin in the new joint. <laughs> Me until you know what I'm saying, Toby McGuire. Look, if you ain't seen the movie, that's tough. All right, the video, the, the movie been out for like a month. <laughs> no, no spoiler warnings needed. Man, you start punching this nigga dead in his face. You end up turning that nigga's face into a demigod smoothie. Punch this nigga down into the ground and shit. Oh my god, yo, this nigga is different. I ain't gonna lie, after that, yo, I use them gloves for mad long because you can like <laughs> use the weapons you got. I use them shits forever, right? <laughs> Come on, we clean with you. Anyways, after this, we spin the block on Hephaestus, and we basically tell this nigga, like, yo, we about to go to Pandora. We like, we about to go smoke your daughter. <laughs> we on that Zaza pack, that daughter pack, that Pandora pack, that <laughs> Pandora pack. Hitting different, nigga. But Hephaestus is like, bro, leave my daughter out of this. Look, look, I'm gonna make you this strong ass weapon. Just go to Tartarus and get this stone for me. So we end up going to Tartarus, and this nigga Hephaestus tried to trick us. Cause there is a stone here, but guess who else is here? This nasty nigga Kronos. Who this man Zeus made carry a mountain on his back through a desert. Got the worst skin I've ever seen. This nigga Kronos looks like Kevin Durant, bro. Somebody put some lotion on this nigga. So we end up fighting this nigga Kronos, and he eats us, bro. Literally eats Kratos. Kratos falls into this nigga's intestines, and you just see this nigga Kronos going, ugh, ugh, grabbing his yeah. stomach. Then you see the blade of Olympus, the... Titan you know smoker sticking through this nigga's stomach. He's <laughs> he ripping through this nigga's intestines. The intestines come out look like he got nah, some gummy it. worms. Like <laughs> yo, he got the gummy worms sticking out, bro. Nigga like a pinata. Bro, he cut through this nigga's stomach after being eaten, bro. Oh my god, bro, this nigga is different. I ain't gonna lie. At that point, we stabbed this nigga Kronos dead in his forehead, and we're smoking on that. <sighs> Kronos, Kronos pack, boy. pack, nigga, that Kronos pack is hitting. Everybody in the pack in this video, nigga. Anyways, so we find out Hephaestus tried to betray us, literally tried to get us killed by Kronos. So we smoke this oh, nigga, end up shocking him. And then we use this big ass thing in the middle of the room to impale him through his stomach. I'm like, oh my God. I mean, it's only right that he got smoked, bro. His life is literally terrible. He's in this small ass corridor, just making nice. Aphrodite's out of clay and shit, trying to make his wife. Knees touching his chin the whole day. Boy, listen, we have freed you. <laughs> like this nigga is down bad so then we run into drunk ass Hera again bro this bitch needs an AA meeting bro and she's dirty as hell like yo go wash your clothes like how your teeth that white but your body nasty like that like bitch you look disgusting like you just been playing in mud all day like what you getting a fight with a little kid but it was a mud fight like what is going on like this bitch is like she just clean horses off <laughs> I don't know, man, but Hera nasty as shit. Like, she ends up talking crazy, but we're about New to walk away, and then Hera goes, nigga, you're a bad dad. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, she really said some shit about, like, him being a dad and shit, but she really was calling this nigga a deadbeat. I'ma come all the way clean, and then I was like, damn, nigga, like, I mean, you kind of spitting, though. That nigga is a terrible dad. He did kill his daughter, but this nigga Kratos was not trying to hear that bro. shit, because he grabbed her by her throat and broke her neck. Literally grabbed it, and you just hear, and he just breaks her neck and leaves her there. Damn, bitch, if you had washed your dress, like... Anyways, he, after he punishes this bitch, 
we run into Pandora and Pandora trying to throw some coochie at us. You know, talking about, well, I'm an adult. No, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, let me chill out because Kato started seeing like her as the daughter and all that. So you feel me? Like, let me stop wilding. You feel me? But I'm just saying, she's trying to give us some of that Pandora's box. box. You get it? You feel me? Some of that box. Yeah, balls. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> all right, that, that was corny. All right, that was corny. Anyway, so he got mad attached to Pandora, like I said. So Zeus takes advantage of this and shows up and grabs her. This man, Kratos, like, put her down. And Zeus is like, all right, bet. And throws this bitch. I thought this bitch was about to fall into a pit of nothingness, but she ends up landing on a rock. At this point, though, you get the boxing Zeus on his sword. Y'all are really mixing. Like, on some, like, prime Mike Tyson versus... I don't even know. Muhammad Ali. I don't know, nigga. Y'all boxing up. Hmm, hmm. We, we, we. You start mixing his guts up, though. Pause. That was... Yo, yeah, yeah, my boy, you're wildin'. <laughs> you're wildin' for that one, no cap. It was crazy. But anyways, you be, 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 be uppercutting the shit out of this nigga, bro. Got this man casually boxing the best god in the world, nigga. This man, Kratos is built different. So he ends up getting into the situation after this where he has to sacrifice Pandora to basically get what's in this box to have the power to defeat gods. Now, Zeus ain't having that. Zeus is like, oh, uh, man, <laughs> you're about to fail her just like you <laughs> failed your daughter, Kratos. Like, he's talking heavy. Kratos is tight, though, and ends up throwing pandora into the thing to get pandora's box and then he grabs zeus starts punching the shit out of this nigga then he goes to the box and he opens it what is it what is and it it was what empty is it? there was nothing in there i was like bro what the fuck going on this man zeus like ended in another failure <laughs> just like before just like when you fail yo zeus gotta go bro zeus gotta go you gotta delete zeus bro i don't care if he your dad delete him right now your daughter. <laughs> he start talking crazy so at this point he's mad as hell and just starts fighting this nigga zeus now him and zeus are fighting at the top of olympus right now y'all remember when gaia died like when we cut her arm and she fell and shit bro gaia is not dead so gaia's tight as hell gaia comes back she grabs mount olympus like i'm gonna kill both of you both of you should be dead first thing i'm thinking is gaia you got a big wagon on you like what are we talking about <laughs> anyways gaia gotta take her old ass somewhere bro like bitch just die like don't you got alzheimer's or something yeah. like God, damn zeus like Bitch, like, you the reason this nigga doing this anyway. You told us that. You raised this nigga. Like, bro, who raised these niggas? Gaia? Gaia did. Like, bro, what the fuck? Bro, why you raise a nigga that was gonna take over humanity and make you feel me? The humans not being peace. Stupid bitch. I hate niggas, bro. It's always bitches for. I'm just saying. But anyways, it is what it is. So at this point, Gaia's about to try to kill these niggas, but they jump into her arm and they end up going into where her heart is at. Now they're scrapping in her aorta chamber where her heart is, literally punishing each other while she's having a heart attack. He ends up impaling through Zeus and killing Gaia in the process. Now I'm thinking, oh, this nigga Zeus is dead. <sighs> and I was right, but this nigga spirit wasn't. This nigga spirit comes... out of Zeus. Like, the body is there lifeless, but his spirit is here. This nigga is choking the shit out of Kratos and ends up choking this nigga so much that Kratos goes into a vision. Bro, he choked this nigga into a dream. He ends up finding out that the power that was in Pandora's box was hope. So he's like, oh, I have hope. I can... I could fight a god. And at this point, he starts mixing the ba -ba -ba spirit. Nigga turn into the Ghostbusters. Starts punishing the spirit of Zeus. Smacking this nigga. Boom, boom, weave, spin attack. Boom, boom, weave, spin attack. Uppercut. Bro, he beat the spirit back into this nigga Zeus. And yo, crown my mans, boy. Crown my, yo, yeah. Listen, Kratos. A round of applause for you, my boy. Then he started beating the Baba. out of Zeus, bro. There's this part right before you start beating Zeus up. You look at the swords in your hands. He throws the swords down. He's like, nah, nigga, I want the hands with this nigga. He walks up and you just start mixing this nigga, bro. Literally beating the shit out of this nigga Zeus. And bro, I'm not doing that, bro. You the I done fought you one too many times. I am going to make sure you're deleted this time. No coming back. No spirit Zeus. None of that. All right. Thank you for the follow. Till the screen turns red. I remember <laughs> I did this for like three minutes because I thought like, bro, if I stop doing this, am I going to have to restart this fight? Bro, I thought I was doing <laughs> something wrong, but no. You literally beat this nigga bloody until the whole screen is full of blood. It looked like somebody just threw a bunch of tomatoes at you, bro. It looked like a fucking plum smoothie on the screen, bro. Like, literally. So after you drown this nigga in his own blood, this nigga Athena shows up and she's like, Kratos, give me the power of what was in the box. This nigga Kratos was like, the box was empty. And Athena was like, no, in the box was hope. This nigga Kratos Kratos is like, so basically you want to become what your dad was. Mm, nah, and this nigga tries to smoke himself. And it looks like he, it looks like it worked at first. But anyways, this nigga smokes himself and gives hope to humanity. 
And that is the way that the game ends, bro. We zoom out. You feel me? There's an end credit scene. And then we come back, though. And this nigga's... That's a story right there. No cap. <laughs> trail of blood made it look like he crawled off the cliff. And we end up getting the God of War 4, but I'm like, how do we get from here to there? I really don't know, and it's neither near or there, it doesn't matter. However, the last thing that we have to talk about, and I know y'all been waiting, and I put it at the end of this because I don't want to get this video demonetized. <laughs> Bro, every game except for Ascension had a mini game where you have sex with this nigga Kratos and a bunch of bad bitches. Bro, a mini game? Uh, may maybe I do need to, for research purposes, go play the other games just to so i can fully grasp what i've missed in these videos yeah <laughs> there are sex mini games in this game are you really out here clapping bitches bro it reminded me of like some saints row shit remember a saints row where you could fuck some bitch and it was like a mini game or like you feel me uh grand theft auto san andreas where you could fuck a bitch in the car and it's a mini game bro, there's mini games where you're nah there's mini games in in Hmm, 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 hmm. Nigga, the God of Raw, nigga. <laughs> Not the God of War, the God of Raw. <laughs> no condom. Like, this nigga was going crazy. I ain't gonna lie, though, man. Uh, this nigga Kratos is literally a goat. Literally the fader of guys. Literally the God of Smoke. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Yo, my man is out here mixing up guts while... He go home and mix up some gut, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to call him, it's that nigga, bro. The pale Avenger himself, bro. This nigga Kratos is a Baba demon. <sighs> also, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot. Uh, make sure you subscribe. It really means a lot. And, and thank you likewise for sponsoring this video, bro. Y'all really dropped the bag on me. Make sure y'all go down, you feel me, the link in the description. You feel me? And join it likewise, man. Be a part of my group and all that. You know, you helping me out. You helping them out. <sighs> Anyways, man, love you guys so much, yo. Yo, Kratos, yo. I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying to be the God of Raw too. Oh God, listen, listen. Where your mom, y'all, y'all tell your moms I want to be a God of Raw. If y'all know what that means, just ask her. You know what I'm saying? Show her my pics. You know what I'm saying? She gonna say yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> She'll find my Instagram. Anyway, y'all, let me know how y'all feel about this down below. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And until the next time I see, look, I'm I'm, I'm a downloading a new God of War. Got to play. See if this mini game is gaming like. The, the, the San Andreas one, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but until next time, peace.